Good afternoon. It's Saturday, December the 5th. I'm back in the Reading Nook uh, and I've been opening parcels uh, from around um, the world. I've had one from Australia, Brazil, um, the United States and the last one I have is from Germany and I've been doing these in order of size rather than any other preference. Um, but uh, since it's cold day, I've also got a cup of tea. But let's get to this one last parcel. Okay, so um, this has come from Germany. Um, doesn't say what it, it's got. Contains books. Well, you know, there's a surprise. Um, so uh, this is going to be easy to get into because it's just one simple pull on this tank. We get it to tear right, and there we go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, in fact, there's more than something just sitting in this is bunker uh, from spring uh, 2020s. It's probably come about from the Kickstarter uh, quest on, sorry, the Zion Quest 2 on Kickstarter. So let's have. Look, so I appreciate the double packaging. So, um, okay, so what we've got on here is actually it's not bunker, it's also bunker. I've got two bunkers bunkers one and two. Um, Okay, this is for people. Uh, okay, um, this design is made for use with any system you choose. The first adventure arc, which spines, expands this design, and Bunker 2 is introduced to the world. Bunker 3 and issues beyond will present standalone stories and settings. Okay, so um, the world Bunker takes place on our Earth. Yes, our Earth. When? No one can say for sure, but in the future. The planet has been transformed by the cataclysm, and cataclysm very clearly marked in black. Uh, total environmental, a total environmental meltdown followed by a very long dark age. There is no no living memory or clear record of human society or history as we know as we in 2020 know it, and the details of the cataclysm itself were lost and distorted over many many generations. Um, so uh, Earth has changed. Different geography, coastlines different, earthquakes and volcanoes and who knows what have, dec have, have decimated mm, decimated the landscape. Um, fungi is the dominant life, uh, life, um, kingdom of life on Earth. Um, and basically, uh, evolving to embrace symbiosis with the different aspects of the world. Um, it, uh, um, Okay, there's an overabundance of plastic in the world, but much of the world's metal remains inaccessible. Um, so, standard items of weapons are likely uh, to be made of plastic than they are of any other resource. Um, uh, it's about a hundred years since the po um, uh, since the post cataclysm uh, period began. Um, and magic is known, it's possible to acquire magic through exposure to a carnotrophic fungi. Um, but, uh, um, castles, um, and there are bunkers uh, which can be explored, um, and so on. So this is a role-playing game itself, um, also sort of background, um, so you could take, so essentially They've got a character background in, in t table here. So a country farmer, or a butcher's apprentice, town guards, village thief, a steward of the temple, bearmeister's apprentice, and they would apply to the role-playing game of your choice. So the country farmer, okay, uh, basically will be well known because he spends time at the market selling his produce. He gets plus two to nature checks, an additional bonus when trying to distinguish between fungi that may cause harm and those that might yield some benefit. Um, uh, it starts with a farming implement as their weapon of choice, it's class, suggestions, fighter, specialist, monk. So you automatically sort of see the mapping there of this is in fact, um, although it's not clearly stated, uh, that from that fighter, specialist, monk, you are looking at an OSR style set of mechanics um, of choice. 
but then again you could build these using um, uh, this is not a choice so savage worlds quite easily I should imagine um, and then uh, you get into the adventure first module the quest for the forgotten key um, on their 10th birthday every child of the mounds is told the same story they are taken to the plateau to the north and told to gaze out over the lush forest the peaks of the cherry twins and a sky filled with stars of every color of the spectrum their stark campsite would remain dark, frost forming on their meagre blankets with only fear and awe, off to fend off the chill of the night air, enough to send the tremors through their skin and bones, shaking them, shaking the, uh, them warm. The elders would speak of the past. Generations ago, a cataclysm occurred. Fire rained from the sky, melting the landscape into new formations, the earth having been violently sh shocked awake. Finally aware of being poisoned and pillaged, opened up its many mouths to swallow civilization. Storms raged. Species died and the sun went black for countless years. Ancestors watched as the world they knew crumbled around them and they were left to learn how to live in peace with the ground under their feet, with the, um, with the swaying limbs and snowy peaks above them and the crashing waves on the familiar coasts. As the sun slowly read it, the elders told, told of the dawn's return of beginning to build where comfort could be found. Okay, so uh, here's a map of the mounds. So that setup is sort of classic uh, fantasy or, or science fantasy if you look at um, um, uh, something like Gamma World. Um, and uh, yeah, they get an unusual, it appears that um, uh, there's a picture of an NBC. I'm trying to, uh, yeah. Um, an odd NPC for this kind of setting, I suppose. Um, at, uh, um, at, uh, actual proper town exploration here, Bear Ranch, Earthen Mounds on the road, and they get employed by Lord Olstoom. Um, at, uh, and explore further. So you've actually got um, a tomb, which you kind of recognize, not so much as a tomb, as a um, uh, basically a bunker um, of, 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 of the title um, and so on um, and, and more um, but, uh, yeah um, this will be interesting to delve into um, again I think essentially what you've got really here uh, is an OSR um, supplement for a post-apocalyptic setting um, and you really see that here um, in the presentation of the monster stats and so on. Uh, my one comment would be um, they should really state it up front that what this really is and I think that's, that's, that's a failure okay what is this? Um, yes, it's for the rule book of your, rules of your choice, the system of your choice, but is it OSR, what genre it is? And I think that would help the prospective buyer make their choice or the player and so on. Um, and then we go on to uh, Bunker 2, um, right, to Bunker the Bunkerverse, um, right, uh, uh, here you discover the charms of Southern Silos, a flux engineering community, um, at, uh, uh, back in going to the necroleum, well, I hate to think what that is. Necroplastics, uh, no, that's, that's, that's quite interesting suggestions, and they're dealing with someone from the past. Um, at, uh, Fran Bot, basically, hollow, some provision would be a hologram. Um, But yeah, I mean, essentially it's interesting that um, one thing that's happening is that um, in the past, what you had with fanzines was fanzines were made of lots of little, little different things. Um, you know, basically they were compendiums of content from multiple authors or, uh, or one author and so on who did different things. But here with something like Bunker, what you've got is um, a... Uh, um, is, is you know his setting material and an adventure that sort of thing in a small booklet um you know it's basically the mini scenarios um i mean these this this, this runs to what 56 pages so it's not really a mini story at all you probably you know you've got nothing from you you probably have enough information for like the standard like 32 page scenario of the past in in these um so yes i mean basically together um bunker one and two they form a little mini campaign in themselves for a post-apocalyptic um, 
science fantasy style campaign whether that is for uh old um you know your adaptation of, of, of the old school renaissance system of your choice mutant crawl classics gamma world that kind of thing so thanks for watching um that's four uh four packages out today um i will return with some more um soon um bye for now